Okay, so I often get asked about the cases I'm using for my Raspberry Pi, uh, and I generally go for the cheapest I can find on Amazon. I mean, when I when the Pi first came out, uh, various things were expensive, and so I ended up making a case with a, a floppy disk and some wire connectors and, and some uh, moldable wire. But I put some nice thick rubber feet on it, and because it's a Pi Moroni fan shim, this has actually been the quietest of all the cases, uh, the actively cooled cases that I've used. Uh, and the Pi Moroni fan shim definitely keeps the Pi cool. I've never had it overheat, and I've done all sorts of things with it, overclocked to 2250, so really taking it to the limit. Um, but it, but there are no heat sinks that go on it, no, no added on heat sinks, and it's always been fine. So I had this weird setup, uh, and the reason I left this space here was because I used to have a HDMI adapter in there, so you can see an HDMI, I think it's micro or mini, I can't remember which one it is, uh, in there. And I also had this for the USB-C adapter because I used to unplug and plug it in a lot. Uh, and it was just for stability. And these were, there was rubber here that would hold it in place. I don't use it anymore uh, because I now use just an ordinary USB-C cable. And also I've switched over to using these, which is a, an HDMI in, uh, and then a mini or micro, whichever one it uses. And these work very, very well. Uh, I bought two of these for a fiver. I think I bought these on eBay. I'll put a link in the description to wherever I bought them from. Um, but uh, but yeah, they're, they're nice and short, and uh, it means that you've got plenty of space, because when I had this in with a USB-C adapter, actually they were too close, and it was a pain to plug in and unplug. And in the end, uh, you might see in one of my videos, I ended up snapping this. Um, so. I don't don't recommend going down that route, although they were 99p, so it was the cheapest option at the time, and to be fair, it's lasted probably a year or so, uh, whereas, yeah, these, these would be my preferred choice of cable. So, let's move this one out of the way and concentrate on the two that you can just buy for very cheap. So I bought this one, and again, you'll see it in my videos, because I, I, I always tend to well, I quite often tend to show my pie. So I bought this 25th of February. Um, so I've had it since then. So what's that? Three months. Uh, and yeah, it's been fine, actually. I, uh, the fan, if you if you have it on a hard surface, because these little plastic bolts uh, go onto the wood of my TV stand, you do get some vibration for the fan. And this is set up to uh, 5 volt uh, for the fan. And uh, it's not noisy, and, and on this surface, which is like a sort of slightly padded sort of table surface, uh, it is pretty quiet and you don't tend to notice it very much at all. Uh, I haven't got any heat sinks on this 8 gig Pi because I'm about to get a passively cooled case and I wanted to try that out, and so I didn't want to stick any heat sinks on. And these are the heat sinks that, that you can stick on to the CPU, the GPU, and the, uh, and the RAM. So you will see them in this case. So this case, I've only just got, uh, I got it uh, 2nd of June, and it's it's now only the 5th. Um, and I really like this case, so I prefer this case for use. There's, there's merit for this because I guess there's less places for dust to get in, but the controls are a little bit covered, uh, and so it's not as easy to unplug and plug things in. It's not hard at all, but it's not as easy to plug and unplug things in it. And also, on the case of the micro SD card, it's just a little bit less accessible than it is on this one. So this is, there's a nice big gap, and it's just, it, there's nothing protruding. So if I go that way, you can see that this case kind of sticks out, so you can't get as close to it. And I've got quite big hands. Um, so. For ergonomics, I prefer this. I get that it's very open, so a lot of dust is gonna get in there. Uh, you can, you notice this doesn't look particularly clear. It's just because I've left the casing on, it, uh, the, the sort of film on it, uh, which is like a protective film, but you are supposed to take it off and then it would be perfectly transparent. This does look really nice, and you build it up in layers. So you literally put the screws down and you build layer by layer by layer and then you end up with this case. And so you've got access to you know, the main GPIO pins, the micro SD card. The fan is uh, open and I have stuck my finger in it a few times sort of putting cables in and things and it stops the fan, which is not going to be good for the life of the fan. Um, but I'm sure you can get something to go on the top. Uh, and as I say, these... The micro HDMI and the USB-C ports are a little bit obscured. The USBs aren't as bad. 
I also would say that this needs rubber feet on the bottom. So because of this plastic that makes it vibrate, if you just got four rubber feet, just to take that uh, off a hard surface, then you'll find that that will be quieter. And this fan is quieter than this one. So if we go over to this one, I like the fact that the fan is protected by the little metal covering on it. I really like the fact that all the everything is very accessible because it's literally just a top and bottom. Uh, you can see that it's spaced between the bottom part and the, the board and these are little metal standoffs and, and the screws and everything. But this would definitely scratch a surface, these little metal exposed screws and there wasn't any uh, rubber bits that came with it so beware if you're using it on your parents table or your own table uh, you you are going to scratch surfaces with these metal screws so get some rubber feet on there as well again that will make it quieter because it'll isolate it better but um, but yeah I, I really like this uh, the GPIO pins are very accessible uh, the SD card slot is very accessible and I just think it looks cool I think it's a really nice case and this was $5.99 for this one so it was a bit more expensive than this one although looking at this I couldn't find an actual link for this one and these seem to have gone up uh, since I bought mine for £4.19 which was super super cheap so this one's got a slightly quieter fan the reason I had to use this one in the 3.3 volt configuration is if you run it in 5 volt for the fan it sounds like it's taken off and I don't know from the instructions it tells you to it's not bad instructions tells you to install it the way they say and it looked to me like the sticker was on top but uh, it's definitely blowing air away from the CPU the GPU and the RAM whereas I think it probably I mean the jury's out you can blow uh, cold air onto the components or you can take it away there's there's two ways of doing it at the moment it's taking it away um, and I don't think it gets quite as cool as this one but I could just flip the fan uh, I could also just put in one of these cheap fans. I think I paid about £1.50 for these uh, from Amazon. They were a two pack, they're very cheap. They come with the, the bolts and everything and they are the same size to fit into that casing. So in under there. And you can see there are heat sinks on this one and the heat sinks that are in this case, uh, so we've got here, here and one on the CPU, the silvery one there, uh, they actually came with this case. Uh, but I've, as I've moved them around, and as I say, I want to use this in a passively cooled case eventually uh, because I'm getting sent one for free. Um, so I'm going to try that out, and I didn't want to stick something on and then take it off. So hopefully this one will stay in that passively cooled case. So anyway, I, I like both of them. I think for the money they do, I tend to go on the cheaper side. If I'm searching Amazon for a Pi case, then I'll just type in Pi 4 case, uh, and my general thing would be to go low to high. I would often pick Prime if it doesn't pick things that I want to find on here because this is this can be annoying. Look, uh, so 49p case, but it's £10 delivery. So if I click on Prime, so you can see the first one that comes up there, 2 dollars was just a base. Then 3 dollars uh, is just a clip-on case. I had, I had one of those for my son's, uh, something similar, but no fan. And you might as well spend that little bit extra to get a fan to keep it cool. Uh, so like the 449 there, and there you go, that was the case that I had. This is what I don't like, is when Amazon put these sponsored links in, you're searching through, and, and you you know, we're around about 599, that's what I want to spend on a case, and then all of a sudden you've got this case with everything at £20.99, and then you've got 14 99 you flick to the next page, and you've got a 9 99 they throw in these sponsored links, and I wish you could just turn off sponsored links on Amazon searches. Anyway, uh, that's my choice of cheap cases. Uh, they've worked very well for me. There are obviously better cases on the market, but I didn't want to spend a lot, and I've been perfectly happy with them as they are. At the end of this, I'll just do a little audio test on both of the fans, and I'll show the 3.3 volt and the 5 volt variations on the clear case on the right-hand side. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.